Grammarly at EDU. Let's check out that Microsoft Word add-in. Notice when you open up Microsoft Word that you're going to see an add-in already installed in your Microsoft Word program if you're in our school district. If not, you can actually install it yourself directly from the Grammarly website. This is the icon you're going to see on the home ribbon and it's going to say check and then Grammarly underneath. So once Grammarly has checked a document, I want you to notice that it's going to provide four areas of feedback. You're going to have grammar, spelling, enhancement, and plagiarism. It will bring up a right side pane in the Word program that will provide you the feedback. Notice that the word also is identified here in feedback, but it's also giving an explanation as to why it chose that neat feedback was needed for that specific word. Take a look here at this, synonyms. Instead of using the word tell, it's offering an idea on a suggested word instead of the word tell. And take a look here for spelling. It's offering different ideas based on the context of your writing. Now let's take a document and run it through Microsoft Grammarly add-in. Notice I have my document here and I'm going to come up to the Grammarly add-in and I'm going to choose it. Once I click on it, I need to make sure and put in my password. And notice that on the right hand side after my password was accepted, it is actually going through the document and checking. And now I can either ignore the different items that it shows me or I can accept them. So right here it says that A is incorrect, so I could at this time go ahead and delete it. And I can choose next. Now at this time I'm going to have a punctuation with a sentence that needs to be evident there. So I'm going to go ahead to my document and add my punctuation. And notice the numbers up here are changing based on the changes I'm making on my document. Now I'm going to choose next. Hmm, I have a spelling error. At this time I would reread my sentence to make sure which word I was choosing to spell at that time and then I would choose the word that's appropriate. So any which way you look at it, you're getting a lot of great feedback here from this Word plugin. And it's all about how you actually use that feedback. Now that you've used the Word plugin, now you need to ask yourself these questions. Is Grammarly a tool that will help students and teachers in your school? And how will you introduce Grammarly to your students?